Hi everybody, I am here with a little review of the Kipling Goyo, I think that's how you pronounce it, mini backpack in black. It has been a hot minute since I bought Kipling. I can't remember the last time I bought a Kipling. Um, but I, I'm going to be traveling this summer in Europe and I wanted to have get a backpack that's kind of water resistant, but most importantly has a zippered pocket at the back so that I can put my wallet and anything that I want to keep safe and secure right against my back. Um, and I wanted a small purse size wallet, um, backpack. So this is a purse size backpack. Just for reference, um, this is a letter size piece of paper and that is the backpack next to it. So it is a like a purse size backpack you're not going to be getting a laptop or anything in there especially as this top bit is a dome shape so um you can only get a tall thing in coming up to this middle part because it's dome shape but um i've been using this for the last week and a half every day and i absolutely love it it's so comfortable so before i get into um what features it has excuse my nails they need doing i'm just going to show you what it looks like on the body so you can get an idea bearing in mind i'm very short five foot and about 137 pounds so this is it swung over one shoulder like that and then this is it on both shoulders, that's the front, and that's the back. So it is a smaller purse size backpack, but it is so super comfortable. And it has these little top carry handles that also just fit over the crook of your arm. So let me go through and show you what this backpack has. I feel like it is um, just a great everyday size. <clears throat> so first off, it has three pockets on the outside, well, two pockets on the outside and then the main zippered pocket. So you have one zippered pocket here, one zippered pocket here. The zips are recessed. This, I feel like, is just for decoration, this little toggle. You can't really do anything with it because there's a zip behind it. But the pockets go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And the same with the pocket on the back. It goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. And then you have these two top handles that also fasten with a snap if you want to keep them closed for extra security. Comes with the little rubber monkey. It's hard to tell because this is the black on black, but it does have the uh, Kipling logo right there. And then the backpack straps and the top straps are in the Kipling canvas material. Adjustable with a silver buckle and... Uh, the whole strap loops around so you don't have any dangly bits hanging down, which I like. So it is really, really cute. So let me show you uh, what I have in this front pocket. Again, the zippers are recessed. And on the front, they just look like that. Again, Kipling zippers are so nice and smooth. But it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And the lining in the front pocket is this almost like a taupe color. So in the front pocket, which I could fit a ton more stuff in there, I just have my phone. I have a Josie Moran Argan Oil Lip Gloss, hand sanitizer, and a Burt's Bees chapstick and a Lube for the Lips chapstick. And that's everything that I have in that front pocket. Again, I could fit more in there if I wanted to. I just, I've been finding that like carrying a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag for any length of time, I'm getting like shoulder pain and back pain. And with a backpack, if I'm out or I'm going to be traveling or I'm running around all day, just the ability to put it over both shoulders and distribute the weight really, really helps. So the pocket that I love the most for traveling is this back pocket. Again, it's the recessed zippers. It's hard to tell again because it's black. It has the silver zipper pull. And again, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It's my whole hand in there. And in there, I just have my wallet. This is the lug. <laughs> I always have to look. The lug rodeo. Um, doesn't this look pretty? Against the black. 
like a pop of color. I love that. So that goes in there. And then if I'm traveling, I have got room in there to put everybody's passports to keep them safe and secure on the back of my body. And so opening up the main thing, now this is a smaller opening. If you like a backpack that comes wide open with double zippers, this probably won't work for you. It has one zipper, which is silver, but it does have the little plasticky thing around it. And the zippers are black on this one. One zipper, and it only goes to there. So that's as wide as the opening is gonna get for you. All right, so you, it's not going to open all the way down either side of the backpack, but I actually like that for traveling because I feel like it has more security. Um, so let me take out what I have in here and then I'll show you the pockets. Again, it's a dome shape, so it's wider on the bottom. See, that's the, the depth you're getting, but then it comes up into this dome shape, which I think looks pretty. It's not just a square boxy thing. It gives it a little more shape. Um, so I have a book in there, the Bad Mother's Handbook, because I feel it's so appropriate right now, <laughs> since I have a tween who thinks everything I do is so embarrassing. Um, then I have a Ray-Bans case, but in there I just have my reading glasses. They're not Ray-Bans, they're actually a Dollar Tree. Um, so those are in there. I have got a packet of antibacterial hand wipes. I've got my sunglasses. I have got two uh, face masks, uh, which are in things just to keep if we have doctor's appointments or, um, you know, anything like that, the dentist or whatever. I have got my little lug queen pouch. And in there, I just have some hair ties and some of these like flosser things. My daughter's got braces, so carry these with me. And then I have my quarter for when I go to Aldi to get the shopping cart. All right, so that's everything from the main part of the bag. And then if you flip it around, you have got a little slip pocket here and you've got two pen things. Um, I only have one pen in there right now. The other one is empty. And in this little slip pocket, it's the perfect size. I've got a couple of packets of gum and I have got some of these wet ones. Um, there we go. And then on this back zippered pocket, this back thing, you've got a zippered privacy pocket. And in there, I have got a packet of tissues and just a little pillowcase with some Motrin and stuff. And you know what I just realized? This Kipling bag doesn't have a key leash. So there is no key leash with this one. Um, so normally I think I just probably pop my keys in the front of the bag. But again, this little toggle I feel like is just for decoration because it doesn't really do much because you've got the zipper on the back. So I hope that helps. I couldn't find any videos or anything on the Goyo. Um, so I wanted to do one just so if people are curious what it looks like, that's what it looks like. They do have a bigger size Goyo. This is the smallest size. I believe it's called either the mini or the small. I got it from Amazon. I actually got it from the warehouse and uh, I was in perfect condition. Um, so yes. I hope that helps. I feel like this is a great purse size, everyday running around travel backpack if you're not wanting to carry tablets and a ton of stuff for kids and whatever. It's a, a good size and very, very, very comfortable because that's the most important thing, right? Uh, everybody have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.